Hey guys, Merry Christmas or hope you had a good Christmas because I'm filming this on Boxing Day. So hope you had all had a good Christmas. So today it's my what I got for Christmas video. Most of it was focused on my new niece and my new nephew. And to be honest, I actually prefer, I get more excited and prefer buying presents for other people and giving them to the other people. I don't know, I just, I love that and I prefer that to actually receiving the presents. So I'm just gonna get on into it. First, I'm gonna actually just start with a gift that I brought myself, which actually came on Christmas Eve. Came in this box, so it's from Aspinall. And it's actually this, which is, oh, am I showing that? Yeah, that's the right way. It's this, which is a new phone case. My phone case, I had like a very heavy duty one before and it broke up here, but I brought this one. You're not gonna be able to see, one second. So I just turned the brightness up on my lights. So hopefully you can see better now. But I bought this, which is an Aspinall phone case. It just says Aspinall London down at the bottom. And it's in, it looked more teeny when I bought it from the website, but this is how it came. Sorry, I just tilted my camera down as well. All the adjustments today. So yeah, it's more greeny and it's got this snake. Is it snake skin? Le it's not real snake skin. No, croc embossed, that's what it is. It's croc embossed, not real crocodile and it is real leather but it is a lot thinner and I only paid £16 for this, £16.50 or something instead of the £45 it normally is and it came in this nice big box. Moving on to actual gifts, I'm going to do one first because it's quite big. So this, I'm just going to have to look, there we go. So it's this shell sign. There was a shop in my town that sells like vintage signs. It's only like a pop-up for Christmas. And they had a number of different ones. I really like the SO one, but that was really curved, like it bowed, whereas this doesn't. And I just like the vintage sign. And when eventually, hopefully, I'll be moving into a flat in 2019 by myself, I can put this up somewhere like in the kitchen or something like that. But there we go. It's quite big. So I also got this, which is just readjusting myself there, which is the set of Armani fragrances. So it comes in this box, which says Armani on the front, and it did say Giorgio Armani somewhere. I swear it does. Oh, it does. Oh. I thought it said Giorgio Armani on the box, but it's actually on the insert. So when you take it off, it doesn't. So it just says it here. That's quite annoying because I would have displayed it like that. But anyway, it comes with four fragrances. So we have, what does that say? Aqua di Gio. Gio. Yeah, Stronger With You, which I've actually worn today. I feel like I put quite a lot on. And I can tell you, it smells really nice. And it lasts a very long time. Uh, Amani Code and then Amani Code something else. Does it tell you? Perfume or something like that. So just a set of minis. They're all, does it say? Okay, so they're between five. So these two are, these two are four. This one's seven and that one's five mil but they don't come with a spray, they're just like you dab and go. So they actually will last a long time because those ones do this. So I was running out of this, nearly ran out of it anyway. It's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Clean Oil Free Cleanser. Got that, happy about that. Got a new, um, this is the only one face wash I ever use now by the way. Got the Norwegian formula from Neutrogenia Lip Care, which I always need those, it's the only lip balm I use. Got the Sanix Men, just a new deodorant or antiperspirant, whatever. Got a new one of these because I'd literally run out and I just wanted, I, it's just my favourite easy 
go-to when I don't want too much style going on with my hair is the VO5 Matte Clay. Keeping on like toiletries, but this isn't really that toiletry. This is Driplo Base, so I use this because I do get eczema and really dry skin and it's really good for that. Um, and I've had, I'm on my second one of the small tubes and they're like a metal tube, I don't know how to describe it. So it, it comes out really quickly and like too much. And once you get to a certain point in the tube, it will start to crack because it is made of metal. So I wanted the like industrial size one which you could just buy over the counter in like super drug and boots so this won't crack because it's got a pump lindor orange the orange ones and the mint ones are my favorite i got this set for my car which my dad bought because i did want a a new, because mine is kind of broken, a new de-icer, de-scraper thing, scraper, but he just bought me this set which came in this like bag, so I got a two-in-one pre-icer and de-icer, so use them like a four, de-icer, screen wash fluid, and then like a chamois cloth, all in this like clear bag which I don't really use de-icer or anything like that but I might try like the pre-icer I only use the de-icer on like particular days when it's particularly icy but normally I don't it comes in this little bag I got this new cable which is for iPhones I have actually already got this I possibly got it for last Christmas or my birthday but it's really good, it's, ter not, it's one meter, so it's not particularly long, but I prefer it to the iPhone specific cables because they don't crack at the base, because it's not a wire. I've got it here, so I don't know how to describe it. It's like, not a cable. So I've got one of those mints because I always need these and also matchmakers because they're my favourite. From my um, manager at work she bought these which are Monty Bojangles, Taste Adventures, an assortment of cocoa truffles. I've not opened them yet. So it's like this opens up like that. That's kind of nice and the packaging is really with a thumb. I got this because you know I like my photography. It is Masters of Landscape Photography. I haven't looked at it yet, but it's a book about photography. I got this, which is the French Connection Connect um, gift set. Um, I have actually smelled this and it does surprisingly smell, well not surprisingly, but it does smell really nice. And you get 100 worlds of fragrance. So in there, I'm not going to get it out because it will take forever. I got a new wallet because my wallet hasn't broken as such but I do really like these next wallets because I had one before which lasted 10 years. Then before, after that, two Christmases ago I think it was, I got a Ted Baker one which literally ripped from the coins that I had in it. And then I think again last Christmas I got this which is from Next. Um, the real leather one from Next, but I wanted it again because, have I got it available? I don't know, it must have been from colour transfer from jeans or something, but if you can see this bit has turned blue, whereas it should look like this. They are really good, so it is fairly soft leather here, normally last quite a long time but I mean this is still usable it's not like it's broken or anything but I was just annoyed that this has turned blue from some dye transfer or something so that's why I asked for a new one and I 
believe they're like 18 pounds or something. It says next card protect, what's that say? Next card protect is a registered trademark, helps prevent unwanted, unwarranted scanning of the chip while the card is in your wallet. Hmm. How does that work then? I'm pretty sure the other one didn't have that. Oh, I think there is like some kind of metal bar in here, which somehow helps protect unwanting scanning. And then last but not least, today I bought this in Boxing Day sales. I haven't gone Boxing Day sales shopping or anything because today we went over to my sister's and saw my niece and my sister and my brother-in-law. Which this was just in Tesco's for like three pounds something. So there we go. So that's it. So yeah, that was my what I got for Christmas haul. So I hope you all had a really good Christmas. Tell me in the comments below what you got for Christmas. What was there anything exciting that you got? So yeah, I think that's it. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. It's always linked below. Subscribe if you're not already. If you enjoy this content, and tell me what you'd like to see in 2019 because this is probably the last video before 2019. So oh yeah, happy new year as well, and I will see you next year. Bye.